Well, Tom, welcome to Aston Villa. First and foremost, just tell us, first of all, how pleased you are to be here after your deadline day move. Yeah, really excited. Um, massive club. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting going and getting some games and hopefully get the club back where it belongs. I imagine it's been a, a bit of a whirlwind for you. Certainly came out of the blue for a lot of people. Your switch, just talk us through the last 24 hours from your point of view. Yeah, the last 24 hours have been a bit hectic. Um, yeah, obviously, I think probably went under the radar a little bit with a lot of people. Um, I've known about it for a little while, um, but weren't sure if it was going to happen or not. And then it always happens on deadline day, doesn't it? Everything's a bit of a rush and loads of phone calls and whatnot. Um, but no, like I said, it's a great opportunity to come to such a big club uh, and a great place to play football. You say it was in the pipeline. When did you first kind of start hearing that a move might be possible? Probably a few weeks ago now. Uh, yeah, maybe three, four weeks ago. But you never know in football. That's the thing you almost like put it to the back of your mind and just got to get on with it. And then if, if something happens, it happens and you just got to trust the people sorting it for you and and go with the flow almost and you know once a few calls have been made and I'd spoke to the manager and whatnot then you know I was happy to get here. Yeah I was going to ask about those reasons of why here appealed to you or what did Dean Smith sell you in terms of uh, the dream here? Yeah well I'm, I've uh, obviously remember watching some of his teams at, at Brentford and whatnot and know how they play and, and know his philosophy so that's a, a big factor I know he likes to play good football um, and obviously I knew Tammy as well, so I'd spoke to Tammy um, before coming here and he'd said good things about the club. So, yeah, there's a couple of factors and, yeah, it's hard to say no to. And for the Villa fans who are perhaps a little bit unfamiliar with you, uh, what kind of player would you say you were? How would you describe yourself? Um, I'd just um, like to get on the ball and, and make the team tick. I'd feel comfortable probably playing deeper or like a six or an eight really. And, yeah, I'd like to get on the ball and, and make the team play. So, we'll see. And you mentioned Dean Smith's style of football there. Is that something that's going to suit you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, there's probably a lot of championship clubs that don't necessarily play the best football. Um, and that's how they go about their business and that's how they get results. But for me personally, that probably wouldn't suit me. And, you know, there's probably only a handful of teams really that play really good football. And I'd say Villa are definitely one of them. Yeah, in terms of numbers, central midfield here is probably one of the most competitive areas on the pitch, is that something you'll relish? Yeah, like I said, coming in, I knew there was a lot of competition for places, but um, yeah, I like, like the challenge. I didn't want to shy away from it, and so I just thought it'd be a great opportunity. And obviously, you've had parts of the season now with injury at Swansea. Where are you fitness-wise now? Are you ready to go ahead of the weekend? Yeah, that's the thing. I've had a, a few months out, um, you know, which has put me back a little bit, but um, I've been training the last seven, ten days or so. Feeling fit, I feel good and I've been training so it's positive. Yeah, you trained this morning of course for the first time, met your first, the teammates for the first time. Uh, what have you made of the place, the environment? Yeah, it's a good bunch of lads. Um, only met them all briefly really, was sort of straight in and, and out to train so it was just a short and sharp one this morning but uh, looking forward to getting to know them a bit more. And what have you made of the team's form from the outside looking in? Yeah, it's been a bit um, up and down, I guess. Obviously, they, when uh, the manager first came in, like I said, they started started really well. I remember we played them um, when I was at Swansea. I think we got them 1-0. Um, but no, like I said, they're a good side. And looking around the change room, there's a lot of good players who have probably played at the top level as well. So there's a lot of experience in there and hopefully there's enough to, to get out of the league. If, you're not, if it's not to be this weekend, uh, the prospect of a... A home debut at Villa Park on a Friday night under the lights uh, next week. How does that sound? Yeah, exactly. That'll be uh, that'll be a good one. Some, obviously, the ground's unbelievable. Um, been lucky enough to play there a couple of times, so yeah, I'm looking forward to to getting going there. If this weekend's not the one, you've been at some big clubs in your times. What similarities do you see between those and Aston Villa? Yeah, well, like I said, Villa's. When you think of Aston Villa, you think one of the biggest clubs in England. Um, you know, I've been at Tottenham and you'd say that they're probably up there club-wise on, on similar levels. You know, they're, they're both big clubs. So, and obviously, it was when I was at Swansea, that's a big club as well, I guess. Playing in the, they've been in the Premier League for a long while and was well, unfortunate last year to go down. But, yeah, I've been fortunate enough to play for some big clubs and I'd say this is definitely right up there. And what would, finally, a uh, successful loan spell look like from now until May? Promotion, I think. 
but when you're at this club, I think that's, that's the word everyone will mention. I think there's probably a bigger pressure here than at most clubs to, to get out of the division, so that's definitely the aim.